This man has completely changed my life. Before I met Manny, I was in the worst shape of my life. And I was kidding myself because I did a lot of walking. I really realized how out of shape I was when I fell and broke my ankle the day before my son's high school graduation. <laughs> so I literally had to be carried to his graduation. So that was my starting point. And I came here and said to him the simplest of things. I said I wanted to be able to just live my daily life without any pain. I wanted to be able to wheel my suitcase through an airport without feeling sore the next day. I wanted to be able to walk up to the locker room here on the second floor without getting winded. And he really took it to heart. And that's exactly what we've worked on for all these years. I was diagnosed with osteoporosis, which is also a big shocker. Um, and again, I had no idea. Um, and when I found that out, I, I really was extremely discouraged. And Manuel did a lot of, of um, research and found exercises for me to do that have been superb. And within a year of my being diagnosed with osteoporosis, I did a 65 mile hike in Utah. Wow. And when I came back, I tested myself again. So I don't have osteoporosis anymore. It feels like I've been given my future back. Believe it or not, the number one challenge wasn't how weak I was, it was how insecure I was. Here's this football player. <laughs> demonstrating what I'm going to do and I'm looking at him and I'm thinking oh yeah right like now it's my turn right yeah. I'm just laughing and he says come on you can do it and then I would do it and I could not believe it my confidence level just went way up and then he would build on that and build on that and suddenly I realized that I had been limiting myself like almost every time I come in I have an example of how he has contributed to my better life I'll walk from here to Bethesda just because I can. And um, part of that is because I know that's good for my osteoporosis to walk uphill. But part of it is because I hear his voice in my head and he's saying, you can do it. And I know he's right. But I came here looking for a trainer and I found a miracle worker. Uh, that's the truth. She brought me back to that age of me growing up when people said I couldn't do nothing. But when I got her paperwork, I was like this. I'm not feeling this to nobody. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take this and I'm going to work hard and I'm going to find out who my client is. That's the biggest thing. I couldn't have imagined a million years me imagine training somebody in the condition she came to me. It was it was like the list was this long of things I never worked on. But she made me, she gave me that uh, competitive edge again. She made me not pass it on, but like just take on the challenge. Instead of her like calling the cab, she walk home with her groceries now. All things that I wanted to hear, I don't want to hear about nothing else but how her life was changing. I think people get intimidated if they're like me. Um, they walk into a gym, they see everybody working out, doing all kinds of cool things that they can't do, and um, and you feel like you don't belong there. And he has really made me belong here. I think part of it is just the kind of people who come here and they're just nice people. But I also think that he's made a point of making me one of them and they celebrate my triumphs as much as I do. Can you imagine her coming to the gym in the weight room and there's one lady here with a bunch of all these big guys lifting weight and she just come in here, get on her bench press. <laughs> And when other people are now looking for ways to retire from their life and, and ease up and relax and look into their golden years, I'm doing just the opposite. I'm running full speed ahead. I am looking for the next opportunity. I can't wait. I can't wait to come in here. I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to go out and just pursue life to its fullest.